Okay, so no stars, moon landing. And images, yeah, I'll click images. Okay, so what I've learned is that the moon is, you, from Earth, you always see the shiny side. So the back side of the moon, we never see. So sure, it's the, synchronous rotation. But, okay, and then because the rotation is 27 days, at half of that, so 13.5 days in, the sun is directly on top of the moon. And at that point, it's 127 degrees Celsius. So for American listeners, that's 27 degrees above boiling point of water. And so they can only land on the moon, if uh, for the layperson like myself, when it's sort of in the beginning of that 27-day period. Otherwise, it's going to be literally too warm, especially 50 years ago. Otherwise, they would have had air conditioning and all this kind of thing. Yeah, so they're, they're, not, they're landing in a, in a kind of a, a dusk-dawn sort of zone on, on, the, on the moon, aren't they? Yeah. Now, all these photos, and please uh, sort of help me with this, is, is done on, the, the sh there's no spotlight, obviously, in the moon, so there's got to be sun. So it's, as you say, dusk or dawn. So why is there no, if, if we're going to look later on, on the Mars Perseverance, yeah. you can see the sunlight, you can, you can see the sun on the moon, and then you can see behind it sunlight. So there's two problems for me as a layperson. First of all, that darkness in the background, which is just pure black. Mm -hmm. If it was pure black, it should have had stars in it because I understand the moon is in a vacuum. There's no atmosphere. So therefore, it, it either has to have stars in it, and very bright, like scattered stars, as you can see if there's no atmosphere somewhere. But in my view, that should be sunlight, as we're going to see in the... Uh, Mars Perseverance chat a bit later. Um, what? How? How familiar are familiar are you with with cameras like DSLR cameras? And I'm not a camera expert. At all. Okay, so do you know things like aperture and shutter speed and stuff like that? Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, from what I've seen, from what I've read about about the photos taken on the moon, um, the shutter speed had to be pretty quick because it was quite bright on the moon's surface. I believe it was one fifteenth or one twentieth fifth of a second, maybe. Um, at that sort of exposure, you're not going to pick out any stars, especially when the moon is as bright as it is, as it is in the foreground. Um, if you wanted to get this exposure for the stars, you'd have to have the shutter open a lot longer, in which case I'd imagine you'd, it would just be just whiteness because the, the, the brightness from the moon would be too much for the for the camera. Um, would you be happy with that, Kat, so that's, as an explanation for that? Yeah, that, that's what I've, um, I've seen that explained uh, a few times. Yeah, it's just the exposure settings of the camera. And yeah. I've seen people on Earth replicate that yes. on, a, on a night, going out and taking photographs of the moon from Earth. You know, filming, filming the moon, seeing the stars in the background, and then taking a photograph where the stars are not visible. You know, replicating the, yeah. the, the same setting. So I think that that's on YouTube on a, a few sort of like debunking sites. And just to go slightly further, Carl, um, I, I sometimes take photos of stars. If I have a relatively quick shutter speed, they will they will look fairly dim and reasonably the same color. If I keep the camera dead still, even on a uh, on a motor and open the shutter for a minute or even two minutes, the stars will be different colours, they'll be really bright, they'll stand out against the darkness of space. So it definitely has something to do, the fact there's no stars, with that camera, set, the way the photo was taken. So just out of interest sake, so that is when we look at it from a blackness, but I believe that that should be all um, sunlight in the background. Is that also still to do with the shutter speed? No, that would probably be due, due to the fact there's no atmosphere on the moon, and therefore the light can't be scattered by the atmosphere like it is here on Earth. That's how I, I would. There is, I mean, it's very. There is an atmosphere, but it's extremely tenuous, isn't it, Katz? There's, there's, there's nothing, hardly anything. Mm. So there's nothing for the light to scatter, uh, to scatter the light on the surface of the moon. So here on Earth, obviously, we've got a, a thick atmosphere. It scatters the light, uh, and and we see the blue sky or all those red sunsets or whatever. But 
apart from Earth, that's got four stratospheres, and then Mars, I understand, so the moon is, everything else is in a vacuum. Yes. So how come when we look at anything, um, we can see the sunlight behind it? So you, you can, we can see the stars in, in, you know, the sun, when the sun is out, you can see the sun. It's, it's not dark. So I, that sort of ruffles me a little bit. So the, the, the sunlight, as it comes through the atmosphere, I don't know if you're familiar with something called Rayleigh scattering. Um, the, our atmosphere is made up of a lot of nitrogen. It's the nitrogen in the atmosphere that, as the sunlight comes through it, it literally, imagine, you know, smashing a, a billiard table, or, you know, all the balls flying everywhere. The, the nitrogen in the atmosphere is essentially doing that to the sunlight as it comes through, and it's bouncing it around and scattering it in all directions down to us, um, which means that, uh, you know, so the sun can be up there right ahead of you, but light from the sun that is traveling maybe all the way over there is being scattered by the nitrogen back to your eyes uh, in, in that blue wavelength. And and that's what gives the illusion that the atmosphere is kind of being illuminated. Um, and I believe... Because there is no... Sorry, I, on. Oh, sorry Kat, I, I interrupted you there, but I was going to say, I believe Mars has about 3% nitrogen uh, in its atmosphere, which is why you still get that that scattering effect on Mars as well. Ah, and and uh, I wonder if that because because it, it's the nitrogen that, that causes the it's the blue wavelengths it scatters yeah. more. And I wonder if there's less. That's why it's exactly. not as you know yeah. not as blue perhaps. Yeah. But yeah, because we, because there is none of that on the moon, there's nothing for that light to to scatter off around. So you you, you would expect, in my opinion, to see nothing but black. Yeah. Agree. Okay.